Hey, I'm Eric. Thanks for checking out the second video in this Puerto Galera 2024 series. We're going to keep taking a look at some of the changes here. What makes this island such a fantastic destination out of Manila? Three and a half hours, no planes, and it's an island paradise. Puerto Galera is definitely one of my, if not my favorite island destination in the Philippines. And there's 7,500 islands here. That's saying a lot. All right, let's go. White Beach obviously is the attraction. It's the tourist area. It's where all the hotels are. It's where all the restaurants are. It's where all the shopping is. You'd be able to order your lunch, roll down to the beach, take a swim, come on up, eat it. You know, that, that vibe that, that's just, that I really like. But when you head down to the other beaches, it's not like that. Take a look at those. The bluff, which is one end of the entire White Beach. And here on the other end are the rocks. And the rocks are sort of the first barrier that you'll need to cross to get to the other set of white beaches here in Puerto Galera. So there's a main white beach in between the bluff and the rocks, and then there's the more private beaches, the Aninawan Beach, the Sunset Beach, the Talipana Beaches. Take a look at those, some of the differences between them, and why you might want to check them out. Puerto, baby, it's beautiful. Crossing the rocks is pretty easy. Uh, take a look at that from above. It only takes about seven or eight minutes to walk across the rocks, and it's a nice little bit of exercise. The rocks are also an awesome spot for photo shoots. It gets good sun just about all day long. The little cove at the bluff end of the beach is just fantastic. It's a private swimming and sunbathing experience, and also a fantastic spot for bikini modeling and photography. As you can see, the beaches are practically deserted. There's nothing like being all alone on these private beaches. And the bluff is all the way at the end of this white beach. It's a completely secluded and exclusive experience. It's like this most weeks of the year here in Puerto Galera. Behind me is the part of white beach that's closest to what we would really call white beach. That's the very end of white beach, the bluff there. I'm gonna show you what's on the other side of it. You can only get to it if you swim there or take a boat. But you can check it out from the air. See if I can put the drone up there and uh, show you what a quiet little private cove it is. It's pretty cool. And then of course you've got Main White Beach, right? Where most of the people congregate, where your restaurants are. And there are most days, this side of the beach, nobody. And this is only one of the coves. There's like three or four coves all up and down this whole side of the island where no one ever goes. However, in a week, this entire beach will be packed with Koreans and Chinese and Filipino for Holy Week of all things. Whatever. Definitely one of my all-time favorite little spots on the beach here at Puerto Galera. It's all the way at the end. There's another couple of good spots up here. Check those out over the next month. Classic Puerto Galera. They sell peanuts on the beach. And of course, the uh, Asim mango, the not quite ripe mango, and uh, the dipping sauce, which is a uh, bagong shrimp paste. I know. Sour mangoes and shrimp paste. Yum. Okay, I'll show you. Eat it. The one thing about White Beach is sunsets. We'll be taking a look at a lot of sunsets, but this is... Mmm, smell busty. Wow, what a surprise. It's shrimp paste. Let's we'll see if it really tastes like a pussy. Oh my goodness. Welcome to the Philippines, boys. Well... The pussy is still the yummiest. Wow. Puerto, baby. For the most part, there is no party nightlife in Puerto Galera, but there are a couple cool bars where you can shoot pool all night long. Pengeco Negra. There are a lot of sharks in Puerto Galera. Let's see if she takes the game. Oh, off to a good start. She kicked his ass. The Parada Bar also has one of the better menus here in White Beach. Beautiful blue skies. 
little kitchenette, and the chef is hard at work. And breakfast, three eggs, there's some tomato, onion, garlic. Eggs are 10 pesos a piece, so this breakfast cost probably about 40 pesos, which is like 75 cents. You don't have to cross the rocks to get to the beaches on the other side. You can take a tricycle from White Beach for about 100 pesos that'll take you up along the road to one of these little paths that exit out onto the beaches. I call this the Ayala Beach because of the mansion, the Ayala Mansion. Take a look at that. But it's also the Aninawan Beach and it's actually down past the Sunset at Ninawan Resort, which is a really nice little spot. But this beach I like because it's often deserted, except for the locals, as you can see up there. Or a couple of kids. And I find that this beach has the whitest, powderiest sand of any of the beaches on the Strip. When I say on the Strip, there are beaches all the way down. White Beach isn't just that little cove with all the hotels and shops and restaurants and stuff. White Beach is it's beautiful. And the water, I mean, really. The thing, again, that I love about it is that it's cool. Sometimes it's even chilly, which is fantastic on a hot day. But you can get screwed because between that wonderful breeze and the cold sea, you just don't feel how hot the sun is. This Ayala Beach, definitely one of my favorite beaches along the Strip. No vendors, no concession stands, no hotels, no restaurants. Nothing. Bring your own water, bring everything you need and enjoy. <laughs> That main Ayala mansion. And this is pretty much their entire beach. I think that's their yacht. The sunset at Aninawan Beach Resort. It's really nice. I used to stay here. This is the other side of the rocks from the main white beach. You can see them there. The first beach you're going to hit there is the Tamarau Beach, Tamarau Beach Resort. Actually, they're building all brand new units here. Feeling when they get done, they're going to be nice. Beautiful side of the beach to stay on. Definitely more private, definitely more quiet. No bars and, and uh, shops and that kind of thing. But each of the resorts here will have a little restaurant bar or a beach bar or shops to I think it always just cross over to the white beach now a lot of people don't want to walk the rocks especially at night so you just get one of those little trike things take you over there for a hundred pesos Ooh, that is a rat caused by the bukya or the dikya because yeah they really dick you when they sting <laughs> you so perils and pitfalls of word glare when you're swimming out there this time of year, there are very, very little jellyfish that will just brush up against you and give you this terrible itchy rash. And it lasts for a couple of days and it's, it's just not fun, which is another reason why you want to wear that rash guard if you're swimming. But you don't really have that problem if you're swimming close to shore, it's just if you swim out of it. And you probably don't really want to do that either because there's certain areas where they, they call it the drop off here, where it's like, shallow 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 and then deep and in that area 
you can encounter riptides off the coast here. And apparently, and this has been going on for 10 years, they say one or two people drown every Holy Week. So every Holy Week for the last 10 years or more, one or two of these tourists that come out here and swim and go nuts, drowns. And apparently they're usually Chinese or Korean, which means that a million Chinese and Korean people are here during Holy Week. You'll love it, trust me. Thank you so much for watching this video. There's so much more coming up from Mindoro Orientals, Puerto Galera, White Beach, and Sabang. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, or joining as a member. There's lots of perks and lots of extra videos that you can see on the channel.